simple business. We know computer windows. Computer windows arose from Silicon Valley. But then, for the past 10 years, they are selling their anyone. How to distract such a big amount of population? They're full doctors, they're full lawyers, they're full people with PhDs, the most, most intelligent people. They knew that subconscious part of your mind that a normal human being cannot, and they do the trick. And there you see a refresh button, you scroll it down, something new will come up, you scroll it down, something new will come up. What product are they selling? It's you, it's me, it's our slightest mind of change. Our attention is what they are selling. And it scares me, it scares me. AI gets better and better and better in predicting. In, it, will, it will give you so many outcomes to keep you on the screen. His grandma just died, let him give grandma reels. His parents just call it, scolded him, let him give motivational reels. He will scroll all day. Today's topic is the topic that 2% people of you don't know. Does anyone of you know how social media business is handled? Why, why are they giving us these services for free? Why aren't they charging us? Have I even occurred to your mind? Yes. The quote I just said, the history's cruelest dictator quoted this quote, Mr. Adolf Hitler. Instagram has recently introduced reel section. It will show you 30 seconds of the reel. Is Instagram competing with TikTok? False news is spreading eight times faster than the fake news on Twitter. Hashtag one trending is fake. Are we going from the information age to the disinformation age? Stop it. Stop it. It's for free. It costs. It costs nothing. Hello ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ayush Chauhan. And today I'm gonna speak on the topic related to this ticking time bomb I'm holding. <laughs> As the name given, the social media business. We, we cannot lose the sight on the fact that these tools Google, Facebook, Microsoft, they have done wonderful, wonderful of things. They found organ donors, they found lost families, they've made Uber rides easier. You click and the car comes up. But there came the other side of the coin. There came a revolution, a revolution in the name of advertisers. Social media platform, Advertisers, platform, platform's customer. They pay platform to show their ads. Who is the product? What product are they selling? It's you, it's me, it's our slightest mind of change. Our attention is what they are selling. And it scares me, it scares me to the fact that how 50 guys sitting in California decided how to distract 3.1 billion population having smartphones. Can anyone guess how? Anyone? How to distract such a big amount of population? No? With entertainment. With entertainment. Anyone else? Just to collect information. Yeah. It's easy. You just develop and program called app notifications. It will distract you. It will distract you when you are busy. It distracts you when you are comfortable. Let me introduce you to the Silicon Valley. Don't think it's a valley filled with clothes or valley filled with silicon threads. It's this giant, giant place with these big, big MNCs, Apple, Google, Facebook, having hubs there from small startups to the biggest startups. For the first 50 years, they've sold softwares, they've sold hardwares, simple business. We know computer windows, computer windows arose from Silicon Valley. But then, for the past 10 years, they are selling their users. They are selling your unconscious mind. I do 
don't believe you. I'm using Instagram for five years. I don't feel unsafe there. I'm just scrolling for entertainment. Yeah, you are right. See, your friend just tagged you in a photo. Well, yeah, that's an old memory. My God, it's been ages. Yeah, well, check out these recommendations, people you might know. Oh, these are old pals of mine. Oh my God, there's my ex too. <laughs> oh man, he, she's with his new boyfriend. Oh, I'm, I feel so sorry for you, man. Well, let me just cheer you up. Check out which star one has posted a new reel. Check it out. Yeah, he's my favorite content creator. He will do it. Oh my, it's funny, man. Oh, there's more. Nah, romantic, romantic people sucks. Yeah, this is right. The girls are useless. The girls are useless. When I say you to do it, you do it. Oh, look at this video. It's a gym guy taking revenge from his girlfriend by doing gym. Wow. After three reels, he will skip because he has already seen them. That's your time to do it. Yeah, I've already watched it. Uh -huh, I don't like it. Well, oh, nice shoes. You know what? I think I should start doing gym too. But the day before yesterday, I was searching for the new shoes and their prices weren't right. Well, these can come up and sold. Do you know how easy this was? Internet companies is the single market that do not trade in stocks, that do not trade in monopoly. They trade in human mind, they trade in human business, in human affection, they trade in human attitude. They, they have these big, big giant rooms filled with supercomputers, cables running underneath them, underwater, transferring information in the speed of light and codes so complex that they need 50 to 80 people to resolve a single error. That's a different kind of intelligence. Oh wait, we call it artificial intelligence. Are you mad? Artificial intelligence has been introduced now. Chat GPT, it's doing my homework. How can you say that before 12 years, artificial intelligence is controlling us? You fools. Can you tell me the basis of artificial intelligence? Prediction, I think. The basis of artificial intelligence is algorithms. Algorithms run on predictions. And for good and good predictions, you need only one imperative, that's a lot and lot of user data. This single market of human mind have made them trillions and trillions and trillions of dollars that internet companies has become the richest companies present in humanity. Go check out top 10 world's richest companies. There are five of IT companies. But you told us it's for free. Nothing in your life yes. comes without a cost. Yes. How many of you know magicians? Everyone knows magicians, right? Yes. Magicians were considered as the first neuroscientists and psychologists. And there you see a refresh button, you scroll it down, something new will come up, you scroll it down, something new will come up. You don't know what is going to come up, but you are so obsessed with that thing that you know if something's going to come up that suits me. And you, you scroll like this, 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 and then you just say, Arey, yaar, ko to pata hi nahi laga, ek mein kab chala gaya mera. <laughs> This is the thing. And the people sit there and ask, where is threat? Where is the existential threat? And there's this supercomputer on the other side of your other side of your screen, lurking into your minds, 
plotting loopholes that affect your concentration, that affect your focus, that affect your time. You all think that we, it's of our choice how we scroll social media. No. And this is the truth. They, you don't know how to control them, but they definitely know how to control you. It's not the technology that's the existential threat. It's the ability of the technology to produce such mass chaos in society that it has led to riots, it has led to false news, it has led to election hacking, it has led to depression, outrage. And if we lost trust on each other, we are trusting social media more than people. And I'm not scaring you. I'm not scaring you, I'm just telling you the truth. Because AI, AI with that much data can never do worse than this. AI gets better and better and better in predicting. In, it, will, it will give you so many outcomes to keep you on the screen. His grandma just died, let him give grandma reels. His parents just called it, scolded him, let him give motivational reels. He will scroll all day. That is the thing we need to know. And imagine, just imagine this much power, this much manipulation, this much dictatorship coming in a hand of a guy like Hitler. He will surely wipe out societies. And you will be surprised that in today's date, Google has said it, Facebook has said it, AI can predict 93.2% of human accuracy. It knows 93.2% of yourself. It knows when you are lonely. It knows when you are sad. It knows when you are sleeping. Everything. There are only two industries in this world that call their customers as users. The first is the illegal drugs industry, and the second is tech industry. And at last, I want to say there is just a saying that there was a Greek god, Parathesis. He stole fire, Agni, from gods. And he was tortured. He was tortured for his entire life by gods. And he asked, why? Why, God? Why are you torturing me? I've given them power. I've given them ability. I've given, given them chance to upgrade themselves. You know what God quoted? God said, they won't fear it until they understand it. And they won't understand it until they get burned in it. Now you have become death, the destroyer of the worlds. Thank you.